Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 29th of 2023. Well, it is titled solar eclipse from a ship. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image from the solar eclipse of April 20th, which gave us an eclipse and in fact a total solar eclipse from some areas and an annular solar eclipse from others. Now a total solar eclipse occurs when the moon completely blocks out the sun and an annular total eclipse, annular solar eclipse occurs when the moon is a little bit further away and just can't quite block out the sun, leaving a ring of sunlight behind. And what you see would depend on where on the eclipse track you happen to be. Now here we see the solar eclipse, an image taken from a ship, and in fact a combination of about almost a dozen images ranging from very short exposures to very long exposures. So very short exposures to pick up the brighter detail and then very long exposures to pick up some of the fainter areas of the corona that would not otherwise be visible. Why is it taken from a ship? Well, since three quarters of the Earth's surface is covered by water, most eclipse tracks will be over water, at least at some point. And in fact, many of them will be over almost completely over water. And you need to be able to travel out to be able to see those eclipses. So in this case, you have a ship that goes out and take can take people out to see the eclipse. So even if it doesn't happen to pass over your area, things like eclipse cruises are quite common, where you can have a chance to see the eclipse and get an image like this. Now, of course, as I said, this is a combination of exposures to bring out the detail. You would not see this much if you were just looking at the eclipse yourself. The corona especially would be just a much duller glow around the edges of the moon there. So it wouldn't be able to see all of the detail that you're able to pick up by combining these different images together. The corona we see again is the outer atmosphere of the sun and extremely hot temperatures of a million degrees. So very fast moving particles closer in. We see some prominences, especially on the left hand side. You can see some pink prominences there, which are material being lifted off the surface of our sun by the magnetic field. So the intense magnetic field can kind of snap up through the solar material and lift some of it off the surface, gently raining it back down. A more intense, you can have solar flares if it occurs at a more intense manner with a, at a faster rate where the material is lifted off and snapped off into space in a massive solar flare. And here we get to see those prominences as well as the solar corona on the solar eclipse that occurred just a little over a week ago on April the 20th. So that was our picture of the day for April 29th of 2023. It was titled e Solar Eclipse from a Ship. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. Preview to be subtle Saturnian moon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.